of his eye. Sit right down, we're gonna give you the scoop with Ryan Pfeiffer and Lisa Dupe. Shamma lamma ding dong loop de loop. This is the story of a guy named Mr. Boop. You're listening to Being Mr. Boop. That face when you're Mr. Boop. My name is Ryan Pfeiffer and I am Mr. Boop. Uh, my name's Lisa Dupe and I am Mr. Boop. Lisa, it's Monday, March 30th, 2020, and today we're reading the 42nd ever Mr. Boop strip. Oh, it's the meaning of life. What happens in today's Mr. Boop? Mm -hmm. Nothing about this is fine in today's Mr. Boop. Uh, Shadow synopsis. Start your day with a nice, refreshing boop. I'm, Mm -hmm. I'm starting my day with a nice, refreshing bowl of... What is this called? Uh, Great Grains Cranberry Almond Crunch. Nice. <laughs> you can see why I wouldn't remember that name. Um, mm-hmm. Secondary Shadow Synopsis. When I drew this, no, this I'll, I'll save this. This is a, this is a, a secondary Shadow Synopsis. I'll save for the mm-hmm. end. Usually, I don't mm-hmm. always. But sometimes they, they're more descriptive of, like, they're more like, here's some context for it. So, but when, <laughs> usually they're just like, here it is. So that's, you know, I would read that for, anyway, yeah. just whatever. So, in panel one. I'm sorry, I'm, eat- I'm eating again. Mm, but I'll fine. just say it's another <laughs> reference to the co-optional podcast since now those are all gone. They're at least not on YouTube mm. anymore. Well, you know, the the first ones on Polaris, they're all gone. Except for like three episodes. Yeah. Yeah. The change finally went through. It's all all, um, it's all gone. I have it though. I have it backed up. Yeah. Sweet. Um, so panel one, we have Alec and Betty. Betty is on the right on the left and Bat- Bat- Alec is on the right. And Alec is, he's taken off his subway uniform, Flapper so he's shot. taken off his hat. Flapper shot, so it's the opening. Um, he's taken off his subway hat. And Flapper shot doesn't necessarily have to be the opening. Yeah, it's just a repeated one, right? It's just I the... I don't, it's like the... <laughs> it's the flapper <laughs> shot. Uh, it's yeah. uh this is a full view. Yeah, okay. So, um, they're talking to each other, and Betty says, You know, Bugs has a nice dick. And you know, um, it's followed by a comma. I don't know what the word for comma is. <laughs> and then there's an apostrophe after ear. What are you saying? And I'm describing you couldn't think the... of comma, is that what you're saying? No, I, mean, I couldn't think of the made-up Mr. Boop word for karma. We don't have one. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't think Alex uh, said, there's only there's no, there's nothing until panel four. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex says he really does, referring to bugs. Spoiler nice alert! Dick. In case you guys forgot from yesterday, the um, well, we didn't they see had a, They had an orgy. I'm pretty sure we. Oh, I mean, we didn't see the dick. I didn't right, see the dick. That's yes, what I thought you were going to yeah, say. No, no, yesterday they had an orgy. I did. <laughs> yeah. Because I just saw. You I saw the dick. I saw you, Space Jam yesterday, so I saw it. It was in there, full, full frontal. Oh, yeah. No, I honestly saw that movie. It's full. It's in that. Oh, it's in there. Um. <laughs> oh man. Blink and you'll miss. This <laughs> <laughs> is like mom boy. What this is a. Um, like mom boy. What is that? Is a reference. It's a reference to Tuesdays being Jim Davis from last week. Just oh, to, oh like, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. I I like I, I I haven't listened to that yet, but I like I kind of skipped through it a little bit to hear what you had to say about because I'm writing the taglines in there now, not the taglines. So the synopsis. I'm writing the synopsis on there now. So I was like skimming through each episode to to just see that. Yeah, that was... And so I think I kind of heard something about 
Doc Boy variants or whatever. We had we now you think we have an episode that's forty minutes. This is now long, another being Jim Davis discussion podcast. But go go on. <laughs> well, I mean, as a forty minute episode, you'd think it was very tangential, but I just had a was lot it forty minutes? Yeah, pretty, Tuesdays was. I'm pretty sure. I think they edited it down. Oh, well, I, it was forty minutes when I looked at the. I don't remember. I wasn't oh, keeping track. Oh, oh, I see. Time. You rounded up. I see. Yeah, I ran, ran and up, ran and hit here and there. So, um, panel two is did, just did you, Alex. Did hmm? you guys read the tagline for that one? Because actually, I couldn't find that one. No, sorry, synopsis. I couldn't. I could when I was skimming through. I couldn't find it. I don't. I don't remember. Because that one, Maybe. I was, I was, I was interested <laughs> to hear, because I was, I was, I was trying to call back to because I had just the tagline heard, was I think I had just heard an episode of Being Jim Davis from really early on when when they were talking about Doc Boy when he's introduced in the special or on the show or whatever mm-hmm. where when he's I don't know which Garfield special it is but they had just like seen it and were talking were referencing it mm-hmm. and they had this whole theory about. Uh, John's dead brother and how Pookie is like belonged to John's dead brother and because because <laughs> in the special he says Doc Boy is uh, he says <laughs> uh, my, Doc Boy my favorite brother and Doc Boy says I'm your only brother well anyway they had a whole theory about about his dead brother and so I was trying to call back to that well um, the so at the start of that episode, we did do read out the tagline, and it was um, the debut of John's early only brother, Doc Boy. The synopsis, you mean? I'm pretty sure, yeah, the synopsis. Yeah. Okay, so you did read it. Yeah, we did. I think that, um, yeah. It was funny because I think on Monday's episode, we'd made a joke that um, John was going to meet his mother and father, and only them. He has no brother, which is a did funny they, little Did they criticism. get the callback? I don't know. I don't, they didn't did mention they, the callback. Did, did they get it? Did they understand? <laughs> 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 where so, where okay. are we in this? We're panel two. So in panel two, Alex says... I'm not, it, I'm not looking at it because I assume I'm just not going I'm, to want to describe it. <laughs> Wait, fuck. Where's my... Where are my tabs? Oh, did I close all the... No, here they are. If you're saying something, I can't hear you again. <laughs> okay, there you go. No, I'm not, I'm not. I wasn't. I was just being quiet. All right. So, Alec says... Alec, which in panel two, it's just Alec, and he's all putting his hat on. In panel, in panel one, I mistakenly said he was taking his hat off, but it turns out he's putting it on. So I'm sure um, someone got fired said, for that blunder. Yeah, so he says, <laughs> "Like I it's hope fine so for too." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he said. So he says, "It's fine for us both to say that." Yep. It's just him. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a close up. Just of him. him. He's putting on his hat. Yeah. Panel three. Close up of Betty. Panel three. It's Betty. Just Betty. Panel. And she's looking down. Yep. Yeah, and she says, "Great stuff." She says. Which it's true, Bugs' and dick is great stuff. Uh, I guess that's what she's referring to. Man, compared to panel one, she looks really squished in panel one, huh? Yeah, it's like, weird. Really squished. Like panel four, she kind of is in between those two states, but like, she's like mm-hmm. much more on model in panel three like compared to panel mm-hmm. one that it she just looks very squished in panel one yeah yeah mm. um so in <laughs> and she's looking down yes yeah, she's kind of like and, and with hands behind her back she has hands behind her back in panel one too and it's kind of like um kind of like mm-hmm. yeah uh, that was great you know uh, good times, you know that kind of that kind of just like great stuff. Conversation fading off, sort of mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> swaying from, from 
back to four. Mm-hmm. So um, panel four, what? just like swaying as you say, oh. say it. Like, yeah, mm, sure. Yeah, great yeah. stuff. So um, panel four, panel four, it's a great drawing of Betty Boop. I'm a big fan of this one, and I want this tattooed on me. She, and yeah, she, she said, he like says, yes! Alex says, he's on the right <laughs> side of the panel. He says, I'm glad we had a threesome with Bugs Bunny. He's got his hat yeah. all the way on. And he's got his hat all the way on. I don't think if we, if, I don't know if we yeah, commented he's... on this before. His hair, his hat looks, there's a lot less drawn black lines going through his hair when he's, ha- when he's got his hat on. It's just like a more of a shape, more of just like a, a a tuft shape, as opposed to just like yeah lines of of black lines where, where to the point where here's a better way of saying this. I think if this wasn't colored in normally, you would not be able to his his hair he, 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 like you kind of have to have it colored in to see the shape of his hair. When he's got his hat on, mm-hmm. his ha- his ha- hair still has a shape. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's got more defined outline. Yes, it's not. Yeah. not the lines aren't going through it. They're like completely encompassing it as a shape. There are lines, but they're like that's interesting because there are lines. There's not th- these type of lines. They're like a, mm. a lighter color. They're like. I think maybe they're just thinner, um, but it's interesting because you don't see those type of lines normally in his hair. Like somehow when he puts his hat on, the li- his his yeah his, his hair defined. becomes less pronounced. <laughs> yeah, more little details instead of just yeah yeah the whole thing being detailed. So. Um... Al, uh, Betty Boop says me too in reference to the threesome that um, she had with Bugs Bunny and Alec Robbins. And there's an electro point. There's also an electro point a, out in, in uh, Alec's speech shovel when uh, he says yeah. Bugs Bunny. Mm. Um, Alec yeah. also, the Alec well, this... from panel one and four kind of look, almost looks like two different people because the hair mm-hmm. and his model is drawn yeah they do actually very much look like two different people because his 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 head is shaped like almost he's got like a square jaw and with it with like a a a a thicker neck that's like directly connected to the head whereas in panel four Mm -hmm. his head is like on top of his neck like completely separate with like it's like completely encompassing it's like a circular chin his nose is more rounded and long in panel one and in panel four it's uh, like a just like a, a a pretty typical like pointy triangle i mean mm-hmm. they're they're triangular in both of them but it's it's much yeah. it's a rounded triangle in panel one we also see his eyebrows in panel one and well ha- that's ha- interesting change him man that's interesting like the classic one you sure I guess he's got like a sideburn. He's got like a sort of a sideburn. It's not his sideburn isn't connected to his hair in panel one. It's just connected to his glasses. Oh, yeah. In panel four, it doesn't go past his glasses, but it but the hair does kind of come past the hat to like where the sideburn would be starting. That's interesting. I wonder yeah. what happens. We can there. tell this because in panel two. We see we see the uh, more of a detail of the sideburn going past the glasses mm-hmm. and past the hat. Up up to yeah. the hat. Um, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to spot more differences here between him and panel one and four, if there are any. The glasses are a little different. Mm-hmm. Um, I, his pupils are bigger, so I guess that's the biggest difference there. Yeah. Yeah. And Betty. Betty looks much less different, um, mm-hmm. but still pretty different because she still different. She looks less much worse. more similar to her uh, how she looks in panel one than she does in uh, in panel two to either of them. Mm-hmm. 
she's just panel one she's like her head is a bit more squished in that's the only difference between panel one and four i would say yeah the, i think the that's the only no difference that's part of the reason mentioning <laughs> That's part of the reason why I like um, the panel four drawing so much. It's a lot of round shapes that are very appealing. And I'm not just talking round about shapes. her badonkas. Yeah, yeah, it's very round. It's a very <clears throat> round drawing. Like as in the head, the two heads, the you know, puffs of hair at the top of the head and the um, skirt is very round. And I mean, that's. And, uh, is she not just usually it's, drawn? It's like a very that? round. It uses a lot of um, circles in it, like the you know the the hair at the top and the eyes and. Right, is that not stuff. usually how she's drawn? No, it, I mean it's it's more it's it seems the the roundness seems more exaggerated than it normally is in hmm. the other two panels that she appears in this strip, and I that's why I prefer it. I mean, I you guess know? with the hair specifically. Or, I mean, I also know. the skirt. I think the skirt is more of a... Um, I think the skirt is very similar two. to how it is in panel one. I mean, okay. I guess I see it a little bit. It's a little bit more pronounced. Yeah. Yeah, I think that these uh, there's just those subtle things that um uh, make it appeal to me. I guess. More than the other two, at least. Like a banana. Like a banana. Um, okay. I um, guess we've talked about we should, this. The, the, we should close uh, this one. It's a. Oh, yeah. uh, it's a funny strip, I guess. I'm not saying I think it's funny, but it's objectively funny. Sure. <laughs> it's I objectively like the, comedy. I like the. <laughs> No, I, I, wait, I can't remember what my opinion on this is. Yeah, I'd find it funny, sure. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Um, <laughs> I like the foreshadowing towards the new Space Jam. Mm-hmm. Um, With the dick. Right. Well, the famous locker room scene. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> his secret stuff. <laughs> We should do it. We should we should do that uh that bonus episode about Space Jam after this. Yeah, we can try. <laughs> we can try. All right, you've been listening to Being Mr. Roop. We don't have taglines on this podcast. You can visit the show's website at www.beingmrroop.com for our full catalog of episodes and to sign up to host the podcast. Uh, and there's also the pitch drop patreon where you see bonus episodes mm-hmm. like the one like maybe the one we just described i think also there's one uh, we recorded about vinyl figures uh which and the phantom i'll put, I'll put that up sometime this this week i guess maybe oh, <laughs> not <great>. today because <laughs> this is already mm-hmm. this episode's already supposed to be up 17 minutes ago yeah um this, hmm. Uh, oh, maybe yeah. this will be the first podcast uploaded the day it was recorded. <laughs> uh, unless, unless I fall asleep and and then and, and um, don't know that upload it until like... tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah. Should we call out yeah, being Jim Davis? Yeah. Should we call out being Jim Davis here? The the whole like all of last week was recorded on uh was all all of last week was uploaded like on the last day of the week. <laughs> Did you notice that? I did notice that. <laughs> I re- yeah, it was. I was like about to email them. <laughs> where's the? Hey, Bob, where's the episode? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a flood of episodes all at once. Uh, for more updates, follow at Mr. Boot Pod on Twitter, uh, and I'm at Kenny One Hundred Six on Twitter. Uh, follow follow at O S Y T O O C, old school YouTube out of context. Haven't posted there in a while, <laughs> but mm-hmm. I've, I've been done with archiving videos, so hopefully I'll start posting there. <laughs> as it, I'm saying, I'm saying that as if I'm producing anything there. I'm literally just posting clips. Anyway, promote something so I don't, so I'm not just a shill. I don't have any. I don't have anything to promote. 
Um, uh, hey, you should listen to Being Mr. Boop. It's this podcast I won. Um, give it a shot. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't listen to that. Don't do it. Too bad. I'm already promoting this. Are you gonna, I'm you're, promoting. It's up to you to end it. No, you're the host. I already said all the stuff. Well, oh, you want me to beatbox? No, you know what? No, we don't have to do it. Thank you and good night. This podcast was brought to you by the Pitch Drop Podcast Network. Like what you just heard? Support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash pitch drop. And while you're at it, check out pitchdrop.net for more of this and other shows.